and the markets start the week off in bullish territory here Christmas week. My name's D7 here at Grok Trade, Monday, December 19th, 2016, and the markets go bullish. Small caps doing the best, up 0.65%, but the banks up nicely, 0.75%, but the financials not following suit. A little laggy here, nearly break even. US dollar higher, crude oil lower, gold higher, silver lower. Commodities all over the place, guys, and the VIX dropping ever so slightly. Here we are looking, 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 looking at the Spider ETF, which is the ETF on the S&P 500. So I called it a sell a few sessions ago. Friday, we dropped below a level of support. You can see that right here, that blue line being broken on the S&P 500. Today, we open... And we rallied higher, touched the area that was support. Now it's acting as resistance it coming, and it comes right back down. So today was a stall day, a sideways day, a lot of indecision. But the, the, the point is this. This area of support was broken on Friday. So that's, that's a problem for the markets. If I go here to the diamonds, the diamonds, remember I said the diamonds, we, I could I had a sell here, but this is teetering on very dangerous ground here. This is a high base that could be very bullish. Get a high base breakout. Boom to the upside hitting twenty thousand. Certainly could happen. But the problem is we have what's called a rising wedge here on the diamonds. That rising wedge is not a bullish formation. It's a bearish formation. And we are at major support at one time today. Look at this. We were below. We opened below support, but we rallied higher and then stopped right at support. We're right at it. You could not go any lower without breaking support. And sure enough, we stopped right there at it. Now, the NASDAQ called it a sell on Friday. Today, we tried to, on Monday, rally higher, 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 higher. But people are selling into that strength. Now, watch what I'm getting ready to show you. Look at all the upper shadows here. You see these upper shadows? That's indicative of bearish activity. Just like, let's uh, go down here. Look at these. Do you see these lower shadows, these long lower shadows? That's bulls buying up the weakness. And look what happened. Boom, 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 boom. Then we get this upper shadow. That's people selling into strength. And then bam, to the downside. Look how many times people sold into that strength on the NASDAQ. I remain with my cell, even, and we just move sideways. We are now below an area of resistance. That is not good. Small caps, Russell's small caps. Look at this. We had a rising wedge. It broke down, then broke a major trend line coming across here. See that, that blue one? It broke that last week. Then we go into the red, white, red, white, this railroad track type formation here. We go back and forth, back and forth. This is what I fully expect. That This is a bear pullback. We drop, 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 bear pullback. It would not surprise me to see this thing now drop. That's what it looks like it's going to want to do going into the future. Banks, we dropped going sideways. A lot of indecision right now. It's trying to figure out what it wants to do. Financials, we dropped today, but we rallied back. We got a little bit of a hammer here. It'd be interesting to see what happens. U.S. dollar is approaching resistance, guys, resistance. So if the U.S. dollar starts to drop, that's going to be good for gold and silver. That will also be a problem or um, very good for stocks uh, also. Crude oil, called it a buy. We move sideways. Let's see what happens with crude oil. Gold, have a sell on it. This is a beautiful bear pullback, guys. This is a great opportunity for to go short gold. Silver, low base, this could be another short opportunity, guys, for a low base, looking for that to drop lower. And we have, we have, we have, we have Grok a trade. Want you to look at three different things that will add a samurai sword to your arsenal. The trading mentorship. If you just want Chinese stars, look for the Stock Picks V newsletter. It's the best that's out there. If you want to hang out with us every morning to trade, a day trade right along with us, Grokstar chat room. 
We're here to help you out. We give you the very best of technical analysis. We've been doing it since 2004, I have, and then the company opened in 2007. We've been doing this longer than anybody else out there, these trading videos. Hope all is well with everybody. Merry Christmas to you and yours. Catch you later.